We've all been great fans of Thora Birch, but lately we've noticed a bit too many headlines about her. And quick disclaimer, not all of them come bearing good news. We're going to look into what our favorite actress has been up to lately and perhaps explain a few of her absences. Before we give any more away, let's dive in. To begin with, here's what all the fuss is about. Halfway through season one's production, Thora Birch was replaced by Christina Ritchie. At the time, it was apparently due to a personal situation. And worry not, folks, we're here to give you all the deeds. In November, Netflix will release Tim Burton's remake of The Addams Family. Jenna Ortega will play Wednesday Addams in the new series Wednesday. Thora Birch, who had been cast in a crucial role as Tamara Novak, Wednesday's doormother at Nevermore Academy, is another character seen in the first half of the season. It was claimed in December of last year that Birch had abruptly left the series during production for a personal concern, the specifics of which were kept a secret. Now, there was speculation when Birch's departure was announced that she had to attend to a family ailment, but little else has been said about what actually happened. Birch discusses her unexpected Wednesday departure in a new interview with Entertainment Tonight it implies that there was more to the incident than what was initially reported. Is anyone really surprised? Coming up, here's what went down, and it's not what you'd expect. Since Birch questioned the concepts the writers had in mind for her character, she now explains that her departure was more of a result of creative differences from episode to episode that developed into such a fluid, changing environment in terms of art and creativity. There were some concerns about how much further to take that character after she'd already filmed a certain amount, so some alterations and adjustments were done. Apparently, they're now coming up with their own solutions because her plan to go back didn't pan out. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. How in the world did they decide to fix this little problem? Here's the crux. The remedy for Wednesday was to cast Christina Ritchie. Although Birch had to leave Wednesday, her departure did allow for the hiring of a replacement, and the choice they made has the Addams Family fans eager to watch the show. A new character in a role like Birch's was cast as Christina Ritchie, who'd play the live-action Wednesday in two films from the 1990s. As she recently told Collider, Richie was equally as excited to be a part of Wednesday. She said that she was quite honored to be asked by Tim Burton because, well, he's simply a genius. But there's more to the story, folks. Additionally, she was asked to participate in the next iteration of something that played a significant role in both her history and identity. Even while she's aware that they didn't do it just out of kindness, it nevertheless made the actress feel really touched and happy. We must admit, it's a tremendously entertaining universe and her character is crazy, entertaining, and unlike anything she's ever done. What's more, she recently had a really wonderful interaction with Jenna, who is incredible. We believe that now people have a taste of her Wednesday, and it's going to be great. By the time Wednesday debuts on Netflix on November 23rd, 2022, we'll know how everything turns out. But waiting for it, on the other hand, is a completely different ordeal. Now, speaking of Thora Birch and the fact that the fall season is here, we know you've been wondering about Hocus Pocus 2. Birch played Danny Dennison in the 1993 original film, and after seeing the movie, we can confirm that she was sorely missed. Moving on, she has a pretty good reason for her absence. Let's learn about it. The 40-year-old Ghost World actress has confessed that she almost returned to the part and had some fantastic ideas for the eagerly anticipated sequel to what is unquestionably the best Halloween film. Yes, we did go there. Regrettably, there were conflicts with the schedule. Sam Richardson plays Gilbert in Hocus Pocus 2, a devoted admirer of the Sanderson sisters, who first saw them floating off on their brooms and a Hoover 29 years prior. Burge emphasized that she truly did want to be engaged, especially in light of the overwhelming fan demand. But sadly, it wasn't what fate wanted. Now, we're sure most of you have wondered what it would have been like had our favorite actress returned. But you don't need to guess anymore, because we have the answer for you. Let's learn more about it. The Sanderson sisters have revived once more in Hocus Pocus 2, which has just been released. Unfortunately, none of the young actors from the first movie made their own comeback. Thora Birch, however, had a clear vision of what her narrative arc would have been if she had been able to. Do you have any guesses? Of course. Birch was initially supposed to appear in Hocus Pocus 2. After learning about the plot of the sequel, the actress was eager to return as Danny Dennison, the youngest of the three kids from the first movie. She was ultimately unable to take on the project due to schedule issues because she would be on site filming another. The actress said that she truly did want to be part of the original Hocus Pocus in an interview with The Rap earlier 
earlier this month, also revealing what she had wanted for Danny's life. Danny came in two or three different incarnations. According to Birch, her ideal one was to have her overseeing the house's museum in order to sort of keep a watch, making sure that it doesn't happen again. Then she could possibly direct the person who brings it back. However, that was just her opinion. Apparently, there were few further suggestions, and each one would have been effective. Of course, Birch and her actors were dubious when news of a Hocus Pocus 2 first spread to them around a decade ago. Next up, let's see why. The fans' demand for it kind of really is what got me interested in the idea of like, okay, well, if it were going to be happening, what would that look like? And I was a longtime supporter. Now, once she came to the conclusion that the fans really wanted it, she wanted in. Because you've got to keep the franchise going, you definitely can't deny what the fans want. So then I was like, okay, whatever they come up with, I'll see, she stated. Then, of course, she decided she really did want to be involved, all because they came up with a beautiful tale and they contemporized it. Yet, it also included all the old parts and went down a slightly different path than what she wanted. Birch additionally stated that she would be happy viewing it, despite the fact that she did not end up in the movie. Let's wrap up this conversation with a little insight from Vanessa Shaw. A fan hypothesis has developed throughout the nearly 30 years since the original release of Hocus Pocus and has steadily surpassed all others. It's believed that Vanessa Shaw's character, Allison, who was Max Dennison's love interest in the film, was a witch who was tasked with guarding Salem with her own good power. Shaw is finally providing some clarification on that idea this year. The hypothesis gained popularity because of a moment Allison and Winifred Sanderson's exchange in Hocus Pocus in which Allison repels the witch with her salt container by enclosing herself in a circle with it. Winifred responds by referring to her as a cunning little white witch. Fans have naturally been more aware of it with each viewing because it's the only time Allison has ever called a witch outright. The party Allison's family throws, the fact that they own the Sanderson home, Allison's clothing, as well as other factors that fans have focused on, seem to support the notion that Allison is a witch. Shaw only chuckled slyly when questioned about this hypothesis when discussing the evolution of Hocus Pocus in general with the rap earlier this year. However, she did have a response. In her opinion, it was intentionally implied. But that's not all. Let's see what else she said. Shaw added that if you pay attention to the necklace she's wearing, it resembles a pentagram because you obviously can't see it when she's wearing the complete ball gown. But afterwards, when she's just in the typical change of jeans and the turtleneck and the sweater, you can see it much more clearly. If you look really closely, you'll see that it's gold-colored locket with white pearls attached to it. It also has a design on it that, if you kind of tied it all together, you'd get a pentagram. However, it never made plain. The leather cord threaded through the sweater which Shaw pointed out, might signify something like a type of defensive energy that she would have on. What's more, Shaw is thrilled that astute viewers saw these details and developed the explanation. For what it's worth, Hocus Pocus creator and producer David Kirshner wasn't thinking about this notion when he penned the narrative. In fact, he hadn't even heard of it until he was asked to confirm or deny that it was deliberate. He does, however, find the concept appealing and finds it very interesting. That's a wrap. Let us know in the comments below what you think of Thora Birch absence in our favorite Halloween movie. Hit like and click that subscribe button and we'll be back with another video. Bye!